we care so much about people yeah. and we care about being different and being unique and being artistic and not looking like every other thing on the block uh, and uh, you know we don't want to look like a Starbucks and we, <laughs> we don't want to look like um, your average generic business location so and they're realizing that we're very different than anything else Um, I bought the building four years ago now, it's uh, June 2015 now, and um, like I always say, it's my, it's my childhood dream come true. Since I was 10 or 11 years old, I've always uh, dreamt of being sort of one of those outside uh, crazy guys that just, uh, you know, takes something over and just uh, turns their whole house, their whole land into just a, a big art project, and, and that's what this is. This is most likely a lifetime project. Um, I plan on having it be a place in 15 years from now that people come out of state just to see and experience and, and you know, experience something here, whether it be a music show, an art show, or the whole thing. And, you know, and that's what we're working for. And it's been a lot of people helping me, too, along the way. Oh, yeah. Um, I kind of describe the way it's run too as a, a democratic dictatorship, because uh, I'm I'm the one that gets to say yes or no uh, to everything, but I take everybody's ideas and opinions in, into everything I do. Do you have like a business structure for this? Is this a company? Like, <laughs> no, uh, we're uh, one of the biggest things here at C Space um, is that I I like the blurring of lines of everything. Um, as I frequently say, I own Come Together Space, but C Space is our place. Uh, once you're, if you're an artist and you show work here, you're a part of Come Together Space. If you're a musician and you play here, you're you're now a part of it. You, you're adding something. You're adding your vibe, your feelings, your art to it. Even just being a, a person that comes by. Pretty much been my money input, but of course, if you come to see space and you donate to a poetry reading or you pay eight dollars to uh, come see a band all of that uh, some of it of course goes to the performers but what comes to the house always goes right back into the house and kind of getting back to the origin is that before I bought the place in 10 years I went to 11 funerals and um, they were either friends of mine people I loved and also my entire family um, so there was some investments that my grandparents had, and then once my mother passed away, half of that uh, went to me. Um, when my grandparents passed, half of it went to her and half to my uncle. So her half went to me, and, and I took three and a half years to spend all of that on this building. At this point, I'm pretty much working three part-time jobs, and any odd job I can ever pick up. Um, too supportive because for one I have rentals here but they're all art studios and artists just can't pay much for a studio and I don't want to charge people too much so even the art studios here they're sort of on a sliding scale it's it's it pretty much comes down to kind of what we need to match the electric and, and the gas bill but also what the person can afford um, so yeah you know uh, I've put my life saving savings into this place, all the money that I've made at other jobs. And, um, I could have paid off the building in one shot. I could have just bought it outright, but that pretty much would have left me with no money to improve it. And, and to um, So from day one, I really wanted to get the building up to a certain standard within three years, uh, four years actually, and it, it took me uh, three and a half years to spend the money. So, uh, but it was really important for me to get things up to that certain level in a short amount of time. Oh, the excitement, uh, the excitement that an artist brings, whether you're a painter, a musician, photographer, installation, a modern dancer. When people come to me and they say, I really want to do this thing and I can see and feel like how bad they want to do it and how much it means to them. And it's typically that they, they're they having trouble finding a place to do that, finding it's somebody that's going to let them do what they really want to do. 
and not uh, make them do things differently to fit their venue or to fit, you know, the guidelines that they have or the, the answer to the board of directors, you know, to appease a certain crowd. Um, I like to say basically we're here to let artists do what they want. And uh, when you really want to do something, we pretty much find a way to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a lot of resources to help people do those things. Um, we're good at finding things. We're good at uh, having things around that help uh, do those things. And then even just experience of dealing with those issues, and especially with it be hanging work, presenting work. Um, and then when it comes to the music, I really rely on friends and supporters of the buildings that know and understand sound and know like what band would be good with what band or if I have a band coming from out of town who here locally would be really well paired to, to play with them and things like that so that's again that I, re I rely on other people um, for their input and to help out with those things but yeah it's passion yeah it all comes down to passion <laughs> for sure yeah it's the biggest that's the number one thing yeah, and hard work.